This is part five. Example number two, standard I.O. Let's start a file, hello whoever.go, and then type up this block of code. Let's copy. All right, and then paste to our editors. So start a new file, paste, and save as hello whoever. Sort things out a little bit. Okay, so package main, always the first line, including the most basic minimum package. And import, there imports the FMT additional package and the OS additional package. Now, starting from here, this is where the main program is. First line says print, who's there? Okay, so after executing this code, we should be seeing who's there on the screen. Second line here is actually declaring and assigning the initial value of variable text. Okay, so column equal here is declaring and initializing at the same time. And the value we use to initializing to the variable is an empty string. Now, because the value is a string, Therefore, text there is automatically declared as a string type. So this turned out to be quite convenient for most developers. Instead of uh, saying the type and then assign value. So this is an easier way to do it. Okay. Next. Ooh, now this is a new API we haven't seen before. Scan. Okay, so what this means is to scan okay, from somewhere. And uh, without further specification, this is usually the standard input. Just like print, F is actually printing to the standard output, which is the screen. Standard input for the computer is the keyboard. So what this line is saying is to get a string from the standard input and assign that uh, to variable text. And then the next three lines are essentially still printing, but it's printing first, hello, and a string. So a string here will be whatever the value is of text. So print have here, you see another way of printing things that can be dynamically adjusted based on uh, the value of the variable. So the second line, print ln, what it means is to print line. So therefore, it prints all the components separated, separated by the column here. So it's going to print hello column, and then whatever value it is in text. Last is fprint. Ah, this stands for file print. So the first parameter this API takes is the file handle. Okay. Now, the rest actually looks just like the printf, this is argument. So whatever this does is to take the whole thing here and then output it through the file handle, meaning writing to a file. Now, because we are specifying os.stdout, which stands for standard output, so the os package here defines a few handles for standard input output. And this is related to the operating system, therefore called the OS dot standard output. Now, OS standard output is always the screen. So essentially, this will be doing the same as the first line of the prints. Okay. Now let's try executing this. Okay, let me bring up the terminal. All right. Uh, is Let's check just uh, so that we make sure that hello whoever.go is right here. Okay, good. So go run hello whoever.go. Oh boy. Yeah, compiler is complaining because this doesn't look good. Illegal character. So compiler is saying that in this source code, line 
for character eight, there's an illegal character, uh, a double quote or some sort of double quote. And there's another buck, uh, also in line four, but character 13, it's also a double quote. So let's go back to the editor. Line four. So subline conveniently also give the line count. So you see line four. Character eight will be this guy here. Uh, so this seems to be a slightly different double quote from the double quote up here. So let's see if we retype double quote. Okay, that seems to fix it. Yeah. So that appears to be a double quote from a different coding mechanism. So. Let's hope this uh, fix the problem. There we go. Prints the first line, who's there? And it's asking us to input a string. Let's say that. And the rest of the three prints is going to print uh, hello and whatever value is in the text. So this here, when I type in poly, actually allows the program to assign this value to text okay let's go back here to the editor so this prints a string i'm oh, sorry this prints a string starting from hello column and the value of text is poly therefore hello column poly new line hello column uh, value here is poly new line so if we you know print Another text, let's see how this is going to look like. Go to the terminal, run it again. Uh, let's say Kevin. There we go. The second print there using print line. We actually printed text twice. Therefore, we see two Kevins right there. All right. So that's about it. This is example two.